Hello guys, in this video, we are going to explore what is infl inflation. Let's get started. So according to Google, inflation refers to a general rise in the prices or the rate at which the prices rise. So according to Wikipedia, inflation is a general increase in the price of goods and services in the economy. So essentially, let's say if you are buying something and the price of those things, let's say you are a really big fan of, let's say, apples. And if the price of apples is rising, then we call it an inflation, it's an increase in price. When the general price level rises, each unit of currency buy fewer goods and services. Consequently, inflation corresponds to a reduction in the purchasing power of money. So essentially what this means is that the same amount of money that you have buys lesser number of things due to inflation. For example, let's say the price of an apple was 100 rupees and you actually had 100 rupees on your hand. So which means that today with the 100 rupees you have, you can buy one apple that is worth 100 rupees. And let's say tomorrow there was a 10 percentage inflation in a day, which is like way too much, but still just for this assumption cases, let's say there was a 10 percentage inflation and tomorrow the price of the apple became 110 rupees but you still only have 100 rupees on your hand. So yesterday you were able to buy one apple with the 100 rupees you had, but today the price of an apple went to 110 rupees and you only have 100 rupees with your hand, which means you need to have an extra 10 rupees in order to get what you were able to get yesterday with 10 rupees lesser. So that is how inflation affects you. So the same amount of money you have, but the lesser number of quantity you will be able to buy. So that's the indirect effect of inflation on the economy. Okay, so let's look at an example of an inflation. So according to Forbes, inflation occurs when the price rises across the economy, decreasing the purchasing power of your money, which is what we just discussed. In 1980, for example, a movie ticket costed on average of $2.89. Okay, so let's say something that costed $3 in 1980, by 2019, around 40 years later, the average price of the movie ticket had risen to $9.16. So it's like something that was $3 in 1980, went to become close to $9 in 2020, close to. So 40 years may, it almost tripled. So this is what inflation is. Let's say if you only had $3 in your hand, in 1980, you could have afforded a movie ticket, but in 2019, you cannot. You need almost $10 to get a movie ticket. Now let's see what are the three main causes of inflation. So the three main causes are demand pull inflation, cost push inflation and built in inflation. We will just see what these are uh, in brief. So demand pull inflation means that the demand becomes extremely high. Okay, so let's say we only have one item. Okay, let's say that, let's again take the case of an apple. Okay, let's say we have one apple on the market and there are 10 people who wants to buy that apple. So it means that the supply is low, which is only one and the demand is extremely high. 10 people are fighting to buy it. The first guy will give $10 to buy that. Second guy will say $15, $20, $25. So there is too much demand. Many people will be fighting for the less number of resources that we have. So that is essentially what demand pull inflation means. Now cost push inflation is essentially the increasing cost that is getting. So this is from the other side. First we saw from the demand side where the demand can increase and demand can cost, uh, cost it. In the cost push side, it is the increasing cost that is causing the rise inflation. For example, it could be the uh, cost of the materials. Let's say you have to make a chair or let's say whatever material that you are selling, the raw material that is required to make that end product, if the cost of that material all of a sudden goes up, then the total cost will also go up. So even wages in this case is an example of cost. So there can be multiple cases where the input cost goes up and as a result of that, there is an increase inflation cost. Okay, so is inflation good or bad? Well, high inflation is generally considered harmful. So, but economists believe that a small amount of inflation is okay, it can help drive economic growth. But on the other hand, if the inflation gets too high, 
then obviously we will not be able to buy whatever we have with the amount of money we have. So it will be like, you know, there have been cases where people walk around with like lots of money on their hand just to buy basic amenities. So that's the kind of thing that can happen. So it's bad when the inflation is too high. At meager levels, it's okay. It can actually help improve uh, our country. So that's the basic of what inflation.